there's like a much easier way to write Svelte Kit. You need to check it out. What's up, everyone? My name is James Q Quick, and I do weekly videos on web development related topics and a framework that I have been super interested in. I've done content on, and I'm going to be doing a lot more content on is Svelte Kit, which is a full stack framework built on top of Svelte. You can do front end, you can do back end with server side rendering and client side rendering, all the things that you could possibly want to do with a framework. You can do a Svelte Kit. It's really cool. You should check it out. If you do check it out, You'll probably want to check out this extension in VS Code that makes working with Svelte and Svelte Kit much easier. Now, this extension is called Svelte Kit Snippets. This is by Jacob Stordahl. You can find him on Twitter. I'll include a link to him and the extension in the description below. But one of the things that I struggle with is some of the basic syntax in Svelte. And so he's got these snippets here that'll help take care of all of that stuff for you. So let's take a look at a few examples. Now I am looking at the source code for the project that we will build in the Everything Svelte course. You should definitely check that out as well. If anything, just go look at the landing page at everythingsvelte.com. But all of that aside, some of the things that can be tricky, just simple if conditions in here. One of the things I actually do like about React is that you can uh, basically do logic just like it's JavaScript. But in this case, the syntax is a little bit different. So we've got like these conditionals, we've got uh, loops inside of here. Uh, if I go to, uh, let's see, which one uh, layout uh, to the route, we'll do some sort of uh, module function in here, a load function, which will run some stuff on the server before loading the client. And honestly, sometimes it's a little bit hard to remember all that stuff. So I've got this test.svelte component here. And if I wanted to create a Svelte component, uh, lo and behold, after I install this, there's a uh, kit comp, kit comp kit comp, I don't know what you, kit component, uh, and it will stub out your script and your style. You can even spice this up if you're uh, a little wild and do this uh, TypeScript version. All right, cool. So inside of there, uh, you've got your script and your style, and then inside of your regular part, uh, maybe you need an if, uh, so you can do your kit if, you can do your kit each. This is one, again, I stumble on all the time. How do you iterate through each element in an array? I always forget what the closing blocks are. So it starts with the hashtag and ends with the slash. That feels a little weird to me. I love most, almost everything about Svelte and the Svelte Kit, but that feels a little weird. Let's see what else we have in here. We've got uh, the if, the iteration that we just looked at. Um, I don't know what the, ooh, a title. Oh, cool. So this is working with Svelte head to throw in your title. That's necessary as well. So that's all kind of stuff within this Svelte component. There is also, uh, what if you want to do a module uh, let's see, a uh, module component where we do a load function. Well, we can put that, uh, we can do that snippet and now we have a Svelte component stepped, stubbed out with our script module here. Uh, inside of that module, we might want to put uh, one of those load functions. So there's a kit load. And if we go back to uh, the layout, notice that looks exactly like this. So we export our load function, we get access to these parameters, we do something with those parameters and then we return whatever we need to or a status with an error of some sort, if that's the case. Uh, so that works out really well. And the other thing I'll show you, uh, we have inside of client, not clients, which one is it? Uh, it's a JSON file, but I think we're going to rename that. The invoices, uh, these are endpoints. So these are uh, serverless endpoints defined in Svelte Kit. So this is a Git function that will then return all the invoices. So if we wanted to do a Kit endpoint, not only does it stub this stuff out, but then it uh, gives us tab auto com or tab completion, tab stops. To, uh, to fill in the uh, the method. So we could say uh, git here or post, if you're familiar with these methods, git post, put, patch, delete. And then we just fill in uh, whatever the something is. What do we wanna do? Do something, we'll call that function and then return that response. So if you're working with Svelte and Svelte Kit, make sure to go and check out Svelte Kit snippets. It's really, really handy. I'm gonna be using this all over the place and I will especially be using this inside of the Everything Svelte course, which will be launching in spring of 2022. So you can scroll through and look at all the stuff that we'll be covering. It really is going to be pretty amazing. Uh, you can sign up with your news with your newsletter. You can sign up for the newsletter with your email to get updates about releases, maybe some previews of what's in the course and that sort of stuff. So go and check that out and we'll start opening up uh, actual paid enrollment for the course sometime in the next month or two. But anyway, Make sure to check out uh, the Svelte Kit Snippets extension from Jacob Stordahl. It's in the description below. Also, check him out on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and let me know what kind of Svelte slash Svelte Kit content you want to see next in the comments below. I'll catch you later.